Hi guys, it's Nancy here and I'm back with another process video for you um, and this is for my Hey Little Magpie blog post um, which is up on the blog this month. Um, I'm lucky to still be on the design team and um, I am using the Jen Hadfield collection which I've shared you with you in my last video, my little haul there. So I'm going to be using this cut file, um, as you know, trying to use my silhouette and this is this kind of quite a nice sort of graphic map cut. I'm not going to do anything fancy with it, I'm just going to stick it down to add some interest to the background. And when I cut that out, um, I made sure I left a border so I was able to double mount my layout as that's something that I like to do. I'm still on a mission to scrap several photos at once and I have these three photos um, which I did trim down from 4x6 to 4x4 um, and they are of us getting on the BART um, line from Millbrae in where were we? San Francisco <laughs> had a mind blank then um, and this was actually on the 4th of July um, when we were going over to um, Alcatraz um, and we were going to then have you know celebrate and watch the fireworks um, if you've watched my previous videos you know I didn't get to see the fireworks because I ended up getting food poisoning um, that day at some point so it wasn't the best 4th of July but yeah so this is us all waiting to get on the BART line in the morning so I am just doing those four photos and as I said before I leave that gap and then I use that to build my embellishment cluster and I've taken one of the recipe cards that come in that collection and I'm just going to cover be covering up the bit that says something about the kitchen um, there is this little rucksack um, backpack um, which says thanks on it which is a bit random um, and as I said you know a lot of the stuff is this is for cards but you can clearly see my backpack in the photo and I thought well that would make a really good sort of basis for a cluster that's my weird talking clock and I always seem to manage to narrate videos around the hour. That's a bit annoying. Anyway, yeah, so there's that little um, die cut piece. There was one with a camera on, so I'm going to cut that camera out um, to help me cover up that word thanks. And just build a little embellishment cluster there at the bottom. I'm not going to over embellish this really. Um, because as I said, it's just really going to be a page just talking about the fact that we, you know, we left the car um, at the hotel and decided to get the bar in <clears throat> excuse me so um i would say i slightly struggled with this layout to start with because there wasn't much that i could use for a travel theme page um, and i really wanted to do um, at least one or two travel um layouts with this so that is something that i did struggle with a little bit but i am going to manage to make it work so I've just pulled my um, scrapping tote out here because I was looking for um, some stamps that I had, the little roller stamps. Um, I've misplaced my roller stamps um, and my um, background stamps. So um, I, was, I knew I had a couple in my craft dates, so that's what I was just looking for there. So I've also brought out some mists. So this is the tea by Holly Swap. And there's also a bright yellow here and this is i think an imaginese one it's a one that i got from a go-go class so as so that was in my craft tote and it was yellow it kind of worked so i'm just using this one and it's got um kind of different patterns on so i'm just using that to stamp um there just to add a little bit of um, texture behind where my cluster is going to be so like i said i'm going to keep this one pretty simple um and I like that background. I know I've covered a lot of it up, but I think it's just going to work well within within the album. Um, and I really quite like this combination of the mustard and the pink. So I bought this red piece of um, transparent sort of tape. Um, it was from the Chamel Starline collection. Starlight? Starline? Whatever it's called. Um, and the red, I just thought I'd bring in because it just brings out the red of my backpack and the red you can see in my hair and stuff. So I thought I'll just bring that in to help base that bottom cluster there so i'm now just sticking that down so i've got a tag that's out of the die cut pack um, a little embroidery hoop and then i have some um, washi tape that i'm adding here and that's very skinny washi tape that is from me and my big ideas you get them in multi-packs they're fabulous so 
I'm going to be using that. I'm now looking at other bits here. So I'm going to cut this one out and I'm not using it for the phrase. Um, as you can see there, I've got this little punch, which is a stamping up punch. And I'm going to use this to just help me cover up um, the thanks word as well. So and it's just going to bring some of that mustard forward from that background as well, which I always think if you bring a sort of colour from the background to the front as well, it kind of just helps everything tie together. So I'm just sticking those down and moving my washi tape, which I've stuck down. Um, and there is a weird join there, but that's going to be covered by that camera. So I'm super happy with how that little embellishment cluster has gone. As I said, I don't think I need much more. I think it kind of works. Um, I was then going through my um, little pouches there, looking at various bits and pieces that I could possibly add in. This is the Carpe Diem Say, say Cheese um, stickers, and I was just seeing if I could get anything from that to work so I am just going through there but um, I couldn't sort of get any globes to work but then there's this little one that says ticket um, and I thought that would just go through and it just helps me cover up the wording on that embroidery hoop so I'm just looking here and seeing if I can get any of these bits of washi to work as well just to help ground that cluster a little bit as well so I may end up using two bits of washi um, and that is a piece sort of teal and pink so just keeping my embellishments down there to the top. So I'm going to put my title at the top of that journaling box. Um, and that's just going to hopefully help to tie everything in together. I'm going to put a couple of um, enamel dots um, around as well. And again, that's just going to help embellish that cluster. So these are... They're not thickers. They're like a cheaper version of thickers. And I'm going to use that um, to create my title. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> Bless me. I can feel that one coming on there. Um, so my title is not anything exciting. It's taking the Bart. Um, and I'm gonna use some more of these LA Studio um, alphas to um, do part of my title. Um, and as with all letter stickers, you know they don't stick very well. So I'm just gonna play about and make sure my placement is where I want it. And then I'm gonna add some adhesive to those. And get them stuck down um, and that's you know then being black and white this you know the white kind of ties in with the background and it just kind of it's not too dark or I think if I'd use just a black thicker it may have been a bit too much for the layout so other than that there's not um, anything else I'm going to add to this layout so it is quite a simple quick one um, I will put the link down in um, the box below about the blog post so you can go over and check out photos for that I'll also put a link over to my Pinterest board where I do pin all my layouts. So if you ever want to go and look at them, you can. Um, I do find sometimes I'll look at, you know, watch videos on YouTube. Um, or maybe want to go back and see a video. So I end up doing screenshots or stuff like that. So I just thought if I'm going to put my videos, my layouts over on Pinterest. So if you want them, you can see them there. So that is it then, guys. Thank you very much for watching my videos. And I will speak to you all again very, very soon. Bye.